Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Um, some of you may be wondering what happened with that last video I posted. It was only up maybe for about like 30 minutes or so, but uh, I believe the name was Catachan8 told me that the last one didn't have any commentary over it. And I realized the reason for that was that I updated Fraps and it changed my settings, which is aggravating to say the least. So I'm going to do my best to kind of redo what I did um, in the last video. Um, I did delete it just because I figured you guys wouldn't want to see the, um, uh, you know, kind of a, a quiet video. But if you guys want, I'll, I can put it back up. Um, but uh, basically what I did in that video was I managed to get this beast uh, up into space in orbit and managed to almost get it back down safely but I realized that there was no fuel pump between the engine and the um, the fuel section because I interrupted it with an uh, SAS system so hopefully that um, will fix that that problem um, just want to make sure that yep it's on that last stage uh, and we'll go ahead and get started let's see if the uh, lag is unbearable or not okay starting up I'm going to turn on the SAS, and I remember from last time, uh, a couple times I had a problem on the launch pad because I didn't throttle all the way up again, so here we go. <laughs> Keep getting tired of those landing gear being this way. There we go. Jettison those. Hooray! I was saying before um, in the last video that I really wanted uh, a setting where you could have these landing gear be already retracted um, if you're in the vertical assembly building just because I think they look kind of goofy when you're when it's vertical <laughs> I guess the whole thing kind of looks goofy if you really think about it but I don't know I just prefer having the landing gear not be like that so Don Lee Dudler and Alan Kerman hopefully will get us into orbit and get us back safely or rather I will get them back safely They are rightfully frightened that their lives are in my hands. Uh, Donnelly seems pretty happy. Maybe uh, he's related to Jebediah. Hooray, an intake. All right. So, so far, so good. Broke through that thickest layer of the atmosphere. Um, about 315 meters per second and climbing. There's our launch pad down there. And our spazzy canards providing us with stability. Make sure I line up the, uh, the camera well. And um, you guys will probably see that it's a lot easier to control this because I added um, linear port RCS systems um, I added RCS fuel to the bottom level um, in addition to these other areas so that it's able to turn a little bit more evenly. Um, it also makes it a little bit less heavy and a little bit less problematic when I restart um, missions that have already begun because I took off the... Um, the SAS system on these fuel tanks so it no longer pulls the uh, craft apart. So right when we get up to about 70,000 meters I'm gonna throttle back and I'm gonna alter our trajectory. Go ahead and pull back around now 
and turn on RCS, turn off SAS, and we'll go go around this way a little bit. Actually, I really don't want it turning that way. But, um, okay, I'm going to stabilize it now because it's a little out of control. See, I think that's the main problem with this is that it it tends to have um, deviations from the axis, but this is actually the best one I've had um, accidentally, kind of, but the best one I've had. I guess I'll go ahead and try to sort of screw it up a little bit here. Turn that off. Off RCS. The Apple apps is going way out, so I'm gonna kill throttle, turn off SAS, turn on RCS. There we go, that's actually doing pretty much what I want it to do without too much rotation either. And. and almost ready to stop and that's good okay I'm gonna wait a little bit f to uh, reach the apoapsis I'll go ahead and warp ahead a little bit Go here, turn off RCS, and increase. Nope, can't increase. Usually turning off RCS lets you let you go a little bit faster. But I guess it still considers it under acceleration to some extent. Come on. Okay. Well, while we're here and while we're waiting, get a nice little view of Kerbin. Um, you can see that the fuel management's much better. We still have almost one full um, fuel tank left on the first stage. Um, I guess it's half the first stage because we got rid of the boosters, but I think you guys get my point. This is space, that's debris. still thinks we're under the effects of acceleration, which is aggravating. But we're going pretty fast anyway. I'll go ahead and try to throttle up a little bit now. Oh, goody. It is giving us a wider arc. I don't want this to go out too far, though. Yeah, it's widening more. Oh, I think we're out fuel here. Throttle down. Pop that off. RCS. Turn off SAS. And, whoa, whoa. I'd actually like to kind of roll a bit. Whoa, 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 no. <laughs> uh uh. Hopefully that didn't damage anything on my craft. I don't think it did, but it's always possible. Let's kind of curve this around. See, it's, it's much easier to control this one, and we'll start the engines and start moving. RCS off.
try to see if I can't really get this going. I don't want to get that too wide. This looks like it'll be just fine. We're expanding. Periaps is about to appear. I want to let that get to about a hundred thousand or so. That's good. Actually, to be totally honest, this is one of the best I've had. Um, not exactly sure why um, why that is, but I guess I'm getting a little bit more control um, over this. Um, as far as turning on the orbit, I'll have to look up um, like if we're going to seriously consider going to um, the moon, um, which is over there, to get it um, in, a, in a better kind of position because this is kind of a slanted downward to the right um, orbit. It doesn't look like our orbit intersects with any of the other ones. Also a good thing. Um, so let's see. Maybe we'll take a bit of a ride around the planet. Donley is thrilled. Alan's not sure what to make of it, and neither is Dudler. What I'd like to do, um, and what I tried to do in the last uh, episode um, that you guys didn't get to see, was I would like to land back on the landing strip at home. We got a we got plenty of fuel left to alter our orbit and to um, to get us back down that way. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can't get the apoapsis to go back um, back to that continent, which I'm having a hard time finding. It's the pole. There it is. Okay. So yeah, it's actually deviated quite a bit from where we want it to be. So I'm going to go back out back to the the periapsis 50 times is fast enough otherwise it'll be a little out of control. And right around now probably pretty good. Actually, I'm going to try to make this a little bit more accurate. Go over to the periapsis and then burn opposite the apoapsis. Right about there. That's pretty close. Turn, turn on the RCS. Turn off the SAS. And nope, other way. much more control than I used to have over this and SAS on and let's burn so this is a good way to shore up your your trajectory I'm gonna go ahead and drop this shorten our orbital period a bit Oh. Apoapsis this is going down. It's also turning though, and I don't want it to turn that much. So I'm going to wait for it to go around.
all the way around to the periapsis and I will burn again. getting a little messy I'll probably have to end some of those flights slow it down a little bit not that much and eh, no we'll, we'll keep it going quick yeah I'm forced to 10 times here anyway slow it down once we're right on top of it and we'll burn again at the uh, I guess the anti apoapsis point that we're getting very close to now. And that's good. Yeah. Okay. Hit M. Turn off SAS. And pop it on back over there. Hold it and bring her down. Well, it's moved. I don't really like that. Be well, you know, hold on. That's going to probably decay. I can try to shoot against the periapsis here. Because I really would like to... I'm not good at math, which probably won't surprise you guys hearing that. But let's see. If I can't move us against the periapsis. Shoot opposite the periapsis, which would be right here. Use that to slow it down, bring it back around and up, and that's pretty good. Time for another burn. kind of where I want it to go a little faster and stop uh, let's alter that a little bit okay Stop. This is tough. <laughs> the problem that this will create, though, because this is actually rotating a little bit where I don't want it to. Try moving around a little bit more. That's good. Let's see what this starts to do. No. Hmm. Somewhat aggravating, but maybe I can move the apoapsis down where I need it.
sort of wish I could undo a little bit of what I did there because that trajectory isn't very close to where we launched from and it probably would have been had I left it alone. I'm wondering if I can't expand it a little bit. Let me turn off SAS and see if I, yep, I can do that from here. Slow you down. Okay. Let's expand you slightly. And stop. Okay. I like that. Let's increase the speed, and then we'll uh, prepare for re-entry. See if we can't get into a, a decent position for that. That's a nice little effect in the background. Suppose we can go ahead and put our gear out. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be in the atmosphere, so I'm going to try to get into a decent position uh, angle wise relative to the ground. That's cool. Okay. Because I definitely am not in an ideal position. Guess we'll get relative to the horizon. That looks good to me. Let's keep going with that. see if our apoapsis is changing. Yes, it is. That's not good. Okay. This is good, though. somewhat Just don't want it to deteriorate too much before I get there and pull it back down I think I have enough fuel to handle that. Not even 100% positive that this is where I need to be going. But it's pretty close. Because I'm not sure if it's in where it gets, it connects a little bit higher towards the top or if it's at the lower area. I can never remember that, even though I should. I 
should probably also try fixing my trajectory a small bit. I don't know if I'm coming in too shallow, not shallow enough. Check our fuel. Fuel's all right, we're doing good. I can't see the, the launch area. But I think we're okay anyway. We are somewhat starting to lose control. But we have enough fuel to kind of control things a bit. is unfortunate because I don't think we'll be able to land safely like this. I'm trying to lean into the momentum. Ooh, oof, ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. I <laughs> probably should have done that a little earlier. We seem to have control, though. That's what's important. But I did lose that engine because I should not have jettisoned while I was out of control like that. Whoa. This is a little tough but I think we can land somewhat safely, which would make me very happy. Hopefully that makes you guys happy, even though we lost a part of the ship. Turn off the RCS. I don't think that's even helping us atmospherically. going to be a pretty slow descent. Try and speed things up a little bit. But I again, I don't really want to go too fast because these are really hard to land. <laughs> There's a lot of trees and a lot of water. Try to get through here. Just under 2,000 meters. Maybe I can land in that little oasis spot right over there. Hopefully trees won't generate there. Because trees, uh, I have lost parts of ships due to trees. Um, so they're not just decoration. They actually, I think, do have collision. Down to... I don't even think we'll make it over there without powered flight. So we'll have to make the best of this. Kind of nosedive it a little bit to get some speed. On 500 feet, I will pull back now. I'm going to glide us on in. I think the trees are spaced widely enough for this to work. I got my finger on the brakes key. And we're in for a long level glide. Because I need to bleed off much more speed. Otherwise it won't be safe. Using a joystick for this is definitely helpful. I don't think this terrain is level, which means... Oh boy, <laughs> I 
I've had lots of problems with un, with uneven terrain. Even landing one of these on a runway is tough. But good, we're losing super losing speed. Try to bring her down as gently as I can. We need to be going, I think, under 20 meters per second in order for this to work well. I don't like these hills and inclines. It's not, <laughs> not the sturdiest or best design for that. I'm headed for a tree. Uh, this is not gone. This is not going well. Okay, I think we're all right. I think so. I, I hit hit the ground and gently, gently, gently. Gently, gently, okay, gentle, brakes, easy brakes, easy on the brakes, all right, easy brakes. Well, guys, um, whew, we took off, got into orbit, and landed the Sky Star, uh, even when we uh, had a bit of a bit of a problem up there and we lost our engine we still managed to bring Don Lee Dudler and Allen safely down um, on the same continent at least as the Kerbal Space Program headquarters so let's see the the flight log and the flight and basic jet engine collided with the liquid fuel engine that's exactly what happened okay guys um, Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time, hopefully with a new design um, that will allow us to land on the moon, because right now I'd need extra like landing struts to land it, because the landing gear with that last stage um, of liquid fuel definitely won't touch down, and it'll probably damage the craft. But that's for another episode, so I will see you... Uh, Whenever I can get the next one out, hopefully pretty soon. See you guys.